Hey guys, Zach here with Sell This Flipping Cars. Today we're talking about the top three timing chain mistakes EcoBoost owners keep making. And if you got a 3.5 liter EcoBoost in your Ford F-150, EcoBoost, or even the Transit, this one is for you. I've seen these mistakes in shops, I've fixed them for customers, and yeah, I've even learned the hard way myself. So let's go through them step by step so you don't waste time, money, or risk blowing your engine over something that's completely avoidable. Mistake number one, not replacing all your tension and gaskets while you're in there. When you're doing a timing chain replacement, this is your chance to replace everything in the system. That means the chain, the guides, all tensioners, and every gasket and seal that comes off. If you skip a worn tensioner or reuse an old gasket, you're asking for problems. A loose chain, oil leaks, or even a repeat failure. Think of it like building a house and reusing rusty nails. It's just not smart. Pro tip, always use an OEM or a high quality kit that includes new tensioner guides, gaskets, and seals, and keep track of what came off where so the reassembly goes smoothly. If you're needing a timing chain kit, definitely check the video description in all of our videos where we share the part that we used. Mistake number two, skipping the oil pan removal. When your timing chain fails, it's not a clean break. Plastic guide material, tensioner parts, and sometimes even metal shavings end up falling straight down into your oil pan. If you got the front timing cover off, you already have the perfect opportunity to drop the oil pan and clean it out. Why it matters. All that debris can get sucked into your oil pickup tube. Once that pickup is clogged, your oil pressure will drop. And you're not just asking for another timing chain failure, you're risking a complete engine failure. Here's what I do. One, drain the oil. Two, drop the oil pan. Three, remove the oil pickup tube and inspect the screen. If there's any debris, remove it. Four, wipe everything clean and reinstall with fresh gaskets or RTV where required. This step might add an hour to the job. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it could save your engine from a catastrophic failure down the road. Mistake number three, not lining up the mark chain links with the cam pulleys and the crank pulley correctly. This is the big one. If you're off even by a single tooth, you're pulling it back apart and trust me, nothing kills your motivation like doing the same job twice. Think of it like carpentry. Measure twice, cut once. But for mechanics, it's check twice, torque once. Always verify that the colored chain links are lined up exactly with the marks on your cam sprockets. Your crankshaft pulley mark is aligned with its chain link as well. All tensioners are properly set before you rotate your engine. After everything is set, manually rotate the engine by hand two full revolutions. It ensures there's no binding and your marks realign where they should. This step alone can save you hours of rework. Here's a little bonus for you. Always use the correct torque specs on every bolt you reinstall. Over tightening can warp components and under tightening can cause leaks or loose parts. Good torque wrench is worth its weight in gold. All right, guys, so there you have it. The top three mistakes EcoBoost owners make when replacing their timing chain. Plus, one extra tip for free. Avoid these in your engine. will thank you for years of trouble-free service. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and share it with a friend who's about to dive into an EcoBoost timing chain job. This is Sell Those Flipping Cars, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep on wrenching, everyone.